Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for being here. Um, I was initially going to tell you a really interesting story of what I did over Thanksgiving, but Pascal sold my thunder. Uh, so I'll switch to my second story. Um, it's going to be a story you will remember. It's about bringing electricity to the world and one kid's love affair with cars. My name is Shiv Rajendran. I am the founder and CEO of Totus Power. I'm an electrical engineer, and prior to Totus Power, I was part of the team that helped build the world's fastest electric race car. We set four world records with it. Using the same battery technology, we are bringing a game-changing battery pack that can bring electricity everywhere in the world. Now, our portable uh, lithium-ion battery pack can charge hundreds of phones, lamps, tablets at the same time. Now, we're taking this to developing countries where they're doing the same job with a room full of toxic lead-acid batteries. They're really hard to maintain, they're dangerous, they don't last really long, and the only reason, frankly, people, they use it because they don't have a choice. We can provide the same amount of electricity, but our battery pack is the size of a textbook. We're calling it Jupiter 6. It can provide the same amount of power in a package that you can put it in a backpack. You can go through the bullet points, but the nutshell is we are better than lead-acid batteries in every single way. But that's not the game changer. We're bringing this to the market at a price point that makes it 10 times cheaper than anything ever done before. Now, the way we do it is we reuse lithium-ion batteries from an electric car. So if you have a BMW or a Tesla, you will realize in six or seven years the battery drops down to 70% capacity. What this means, that 70% means that it is no longer powerful enough to, to run your car. But for charging consumer devices, these batteries are as good as new. Now, from one electric car, we can make as much as 60 to 100 units. Now, let me show you how simple that is. So, a split view of an electric car. You would know the bottom is a big battery. But the giant battery is actually a collection of 100 smaller units called modules. We use one of this for our battery pack. Now, car companies have spent billions of dollars, that's with a B, on developing this to be small, light, powerful, safe, tested, and out there in the market. But for them, it's waste because it's done its job. Because of that, we, can, we are leasing this from the car companies at a fraction of the price. Now, we get the modules contain all the structural components we need to make the battery pack work. We are working on the electronics. But this modular approach gives us, lets us do something really, really cool. No one has done this before. We're building batteries to be like Lego, change according to your need. What does it mean? The electronics and the batteries we get from the car, for us, are two separate units. They literally snap into place. Which this means that no matter where you are in the world, we can customize it, the battery to be charged over different types of electricity. This also lets us do one more thing. We are reducing power to the way you buy minutes. People do not buy a battery pack, they buy hours and minutes for actually charging their devices. We're charging as low as 50 cents, and even on the most minimal usage, we can make, up, make our money back in uh, less than a year. When the battery runs out, it just pops out, and we can send you the new one. Somebody does something amazing and a new battery comes out, no worries, it snaps in. The standards we are developing to is not changing. We can also add multiple devices on the fly with just one control unit, meaning the, our revenue and essentially the capacity of the battery doubles or triples on the fly based on the usage. The more batteries out there, the more we make. Now, how does this compare to what everybody else is doing? Now, a lot of money is being spent in making batteries amazing, smaller, lighter, more powerful. But you know what? Everybody's building boxes. They're either little boxes with little price tags or big boxes with lots of with a big price tag. They also have the same problem. They, can, they only last 10 minutes, they're dangerous, and the best one out here can break, break your back if you try to lift it. How good are we? We provide the same amount of power as the most expensive and the biggest battery out there at a price point that is smaller and, and a package that is lighter than the cheapest one. There's absolutely no way they can compete because I have an unfair advantage. Now, $5 billion worth of these uh, batteries have been sold in the, last, um, in the last year or two. We don't want to just play in this market. We absolutely want to own it. 
Now, when I started this, um, it, was, it was an idea written on a piece of paper, two buildings from here. From that point, we've not only picked up press coverage, but over $200,000 in competitions, in funding, especially from Singularity. The first thing I did was surround myself with an amazing team. Matt, who's back there, is my technical genius. He's working on his PhD from batteries. He's making all the things work in the back. I'm not just an electrical engineer. My whole career is built on, um, on the management consulting side, where I worked with companies like Tata and BMW, bringing technical products to the market. Now, for us to make our product work, we need to have connections. And trust me, there's no better than our advisors to make those connections. One of the advisors, Tom, you see, helped start Tesla. The other two, they started the whole low-cost uh, school market. We have government connections, and these are just a small fraction of the advisors who are helping us. So what have we done? We used our funding to build a prototype. We took it to exhaustive pilots in India where we bought over, uh, electricity to over 600 kids in two Indian cities. We picked up a lot of early orders from this, and the reason is very simple. The schools and nonprofits that we went to, they've invested heavily in technology products. They don't have power to run it. We became the enabler for that work. Our work that's coming up is to uh, finish our first version and bump up our production to 3,000 units. We're already speaking with these um, nonprofit partners who essentially have the infrastructure to generate electricity. We are providing the critical missing link, which is a way to store and use this power. Our biggest need right now is to raise 500,000 to finish our, um, we already have the money to finish our first version. We need to get up to manufacturing. That's our biggest need. We have also lined up a supply. Our first supply is from BMW, where we have a two-year supply from the electric Mini Coopers. Now you might think electric cars are really uh, just picking up. Remember, I can make 100 units from one car. Even if this number is only 10% to 8 million in 2020, I can make a whole lot of batteries and the market can absorb them. There's also another reason why the electric car companies want to work with us. Expensive is really, uh, recycling is really expensive, and the regulations are catching up where it's making mandatory. We can, we can reduce this price tag by half. This is on top of the marketing benefits that they get by providing us with used EV batteries. Now, um, I started off with the story of a love affair. And this is that kid. It's a lot skinnier back then. Um, as you can tell, I, I loved cars. The only reason I ended up being an engineer was I wanted to know how my little toy car worked. Now, the thing is, I firmly believe that our dreams, we don't essentially become race car drivers or rock stars. But what we dream, who we want to become is, when we were small, fundamentally dictates what we become when we grow up. It bothers me that 1.3 billion people around the world cannot do this. The reason why I get super excited about my work is I found my dream of cars to lead me to an answer that I think solves the world's problem, and that's bringing electricity everywhere. There's no way we can do this on our own. I would absolutely love to have your help. If there's anything you can do to push my work forward, please reach out to me. Thanks so much for your time.